It is not easy to venture into a new career path, especially if it demands a lot from you. For example, registering for the course, buying of study material, buying equipment for your practicals, and many more. I know that can be stressful because I've been there. But I'm here to tell you that there are many ways to make things easy for yourself in the ICT networking world. Welcome to another lesson of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtik series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. I know you're still waiting for my answer or solution, and here it is. You don't have to buy things like routers, switches, and access points. If you have a personal computer, you can download simulators or hypervisors for your studies, and they are free of charge. You can use your hypervisors for your practical labs, and for study materials, you can watch YouTube channels like the one that you are watching right now, Technology for All Academy, and there are many more out there that also have lessons that are informative, and you can gain a lot from these channels. This will also help you to identify if ICT networking world is for you or not without investing a lot in it. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to run MicroTik Cloud Hosted Router on Oracle VirtualBox. And to do that, we'll need to download our softwares or applications. To download Oracle VirtualBox, open your search engine. In my case, I'll open Google Chrome. And on the URL, type www.virtualbox.org to open the website. And on the VirtualBox website, click here on Download VirtualBox 7.0 and you'll be directed to another page. On this page, you click on Windows Host and you'll get the message, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep VirtualBox? And then you click on Keep and your VirtualBox will be downloaded. And to download our MicroTik image, open another tab. And on your URL, search for www.acrotic.com to open the website. And on the website menu, you go and click on Softwares. Then scroll down to Cloud Hosted Router. And then you open it. And the image that we are going to download is a VDI image. And I'll download the 7.6 stable. Okay, VDI image, we click on the sticky disk so that we can start our download. And now that VirtualBox download is finished, to install it, you click on open and you'll get a question from user account control. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And you'll click yes. And when the Oracle VirtualBox wizard or GUI is opened, to install it, it's easy, it's just uh, next next up until you are finished you can see it's next you keep everything as default as it is so I'm not going to install VirtualBox because I already have it installed on my PC now let me open my VirtualBox and in order to run my CHR on VirtualBox or install it I will click on machine and then click new and the other way to do it on these tabs here, you can go and click on the new tab. It will also get you to the same place. Okay, I'll name my machine Microtik underscore CHR. And for the type, it's Linux. And the version, I'll make it other Linux 64 bit. Then we click next. The memory, I'll leave it as 512, it's fine. I'll click next. You can choose to create a virtual hard disk here or you can use an existing virtual hard disk which is what I'm going to do and then I'll click on this folder here then I'll go to the add tab 
so that I can go to where I stored my image. Okay, let's go to downloads and I'll click on my image, then I'll click open. And after that, we have to scroll down. As you can see, I'll go to my image and then I'll click on choose. Then I'll click create. And here's my micro taxi share machine. Okay, I'll right click it. Let me go to settings. And on my settings, I'll go to network. And for my adapters, I'll choose not attached. And I'll click OK. Now let's power on our machine and do some basic configuration. And in order to power it on, you can double click on the machine or right click and then click on start. Okay, normal start. As we know, our username for MicroTik is admin and the password is blank. And now that I'm inside, it's asking me a question. Do you want to see the software license? No, I don't want to see it. And then let's create our new password. I'll make it 1234567878. Enter. 1234567878. Enter. As I've said, we'll do some basic configuration. And what I'm going to do is to change the name of our router to lab test. Okay, and to do that, I'll give the command system identity set name and then the name it's lab test enter and as you can see our name has been changed from microtic to lab test and that's all i want to do for this lesson hope this lesson was informative and you really enjoyed a lot from it if you find this lesson informative please share it with someone who can also benefit from it and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson let me love and leave you have a blessed day thank you for watching this lesson